with that done, we can now leave the land of summoned monsters. And I bet you're thinking to yourself, why are you going back the, the, this way? Why aren't you going a different way? It's going to be a long journey through that cave, isn't it? Nope. Because there is actually a secret exit to the land of summoned monsters. Now, in order to get there, you have to go through this little secret place again, and then head south here. And you end up back on the world map. So we can now get back onto our airship, and we can head over here to the very northwest part here, and now we can actually go where we're supposed to go. You can't land there? Can I land there? Oh, come on. How about there? There we go. We can head into the Sylvan Cave. Hold on while I do save once again. Okay, let's head into the Sylvan Cave. Now, just like the cave that we were in last time, this cave has tiles that will pretty much kill you. So, we need to cast Float on everybody. Well, not, you know, kill you, but it will do massive amounts of damage if you let it. So, let's avoid that at all costs. Let's head over to the right here, and we can grab ourselves some treasure. We get a cure too, and a charm arrows. But it doesn't look like I can get that third one just yet. So I have to go through a secret passage in order to get those. But we do have new enemies here. We have ghosts and dark trees. I don't like the looks of these guys at all. What are you on again? The lunar staff. Does that do anything? I don't think it does anything. Really, you guys are casting fire? Did not call fire on you guys at all. That was not what I was expecting in the slightest. Yeah, nothing happens. I didn't think so. I was surprised that they even let me use it. But what are you going to do? Let's go for a regular attack. Go Ice 2! That did crap. Berserk! How dare you berserk yourselves, Dark Trees? That doesn't even really make sense. But down goes one of the ghosts. At least Cain can heal himself, I guess. Damn, you're starting to do a bit of damage here. Now let's start healing up. I hate healing up all the damn time with Rosa, but <laughs> I need to. It's required in order to win. And I tend to want to do that. I should be able to cast fire on these guys. They are trees, after all. Last I checked, fire, well, trees are weak to both fire and ice. But that's besides the point. They're mostly weak to fire. Okay, the ghost isn't, though. That makes no sense either, because he's supposed to be undead. Kill the ghost. Then we can focus on the trees later. Die, ghost. Again. This time more permanently. And there we go. Let's go for another fire, too. And that should finish the job here. Damn, they hit hard, though. Damn, do they hit hard. And just attack for victory. If you could just cure Rydia, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. But at least one of them should die here. And then we'll see. No. No, of course not. I was about to say, we'll see if that is enough to cure the other. To, to kill the other dark tree. But no, that was wishful thinking. That should be enough, though. Down goes the dark tree. And we have one for 2,145 gil. 4,440 experience. Rosa gains a level. Edge gains a level. Neither one learns anything. Ah. <sighs> What am I even taking you to school for? You're not learning anything. And do we have new enemies? We do! We have a toad lady and tiny toads. And we need, and we got attacked from behind, which is never fun. We need to change rows. Croak, my dears! Toad. Oh. Wait, what? Is this working on anybody? It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be working. Okay, it did. It was just a little delayed there. Are we, are we still switching rows? That'd be appreciated. Yes, we are. Hooray. Now, Rosa can't even... Are you serious? 
Are you serious? I might just run from this if, the, if this is what they're going to be doing all the damn time. This is just ridiculously annoying. That's what this is. Toe, 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 toe. Oh! Well, they cast us back, apparently. Uh, they should be weak to ice. Because they are technically like lizards, after all. Even though they're amphibians, I know, I know. But, they should still work. Alright, how much does it- oh god, that takes up a lot. Alright, I need to do it, though. I need to do it. Croak, my dears, what do you have? A ninja sword, that's not gonna do anything for you. Let's just hope that this somehow heals him. And that we can get back to normal. God, you guys are... This is just an annoying fight. It's, that's all this is. They haven't even started doing damage to us, really. And then, of course, she got healed after... Whatever. Just, just whatever. Hooray, she got healed. Alright, let's cast Cure Teal on everybody, because that's the first one that's kind of useful here. And then we can cast more ice too, and that should take out all the toads, the tiny toads I should say. And then we can start focusing on the toad lady herself. Still not enough for the victory there. Oh god, that's annoying. It probably wouldn't be nearly as annoying if it wasn't so slow getting this all done. As long as you don't cast this on Rydia, I should be fine, even though this is still very, very annoying. And I'm, I've lost track of who's going to be toted here. Alright, Cecil got toted, and that's pretty much it. Just croak yourself. And that is enough to kill everything except for the toad lady. Who we can't do much damage to because she's... I don't know. She's something, that's for sure. <gasps> and then... I don't... I don't know. She toted herself? <laughs> I don't understand, game. I don't understand. Let's start using items here. Really? Really? Oh, god, game. Why do you do this to me? Yes. Edge heals himself. Hooray. Now everybody just strike it until it is dead and we are done with this fight. We get 2610 gil, 2920 experience. Cecil gains a level. Hooray. But, oh man. That fight, man. That fight is annoying. Let's head to the next level, which does mean we need to cast Float again. Once again, stairs. Get rid of your float. For whatever reason, doesn't matter that we're in a different dungeon, the rules are the same for that. Now, I do see a way down, and I do see a way up. Uh, I think I'm going to go up first. I was just double-checking, there's nothing over there, but it doesn't look like there is. And then, there's no way over there as well. Do we have new enemies? No, we do not. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything else here, so let's just head back up. And that leads us to a save point. As you saw there, I forgot to cast Float again, and it looks like that did 100 HP of damage, me not casting Float there. So let's get that back on. And I don't think I need to rest just yet, because at least first here, I would like to go up and go through this secret passage that we spotted earlier, to be honest with you. But up here, we do get an elven bow, an upgrade for Rosa when I want her to attack. Now, with that gotten, and another... Oh, strike first! Hooray! Like I said, with that treasure gotten, now I can use the save point to my heart's content. Close to full heal, close, but not quite. Uh, we need to head west here, obviously. There's nowhere else for us to go except up here for more gill and a cabin to make up for the tent that I used. Uh, cabins, of course, heal more. I think we've gone over that before, though. Do we have new enemies to fight? We. Oh, no. Oh, crap. We got a mob ball. Apparently they're called in this game. I'm going to try to focus on that if I can, so I need to go for Ice 2 on the Mall Ball. Anybody that is a fan of 
uh, Final Fantasy has played a few of these games knows what that is and why it needs to die immediately. Oh, it's casting breath. Ah, uh, okay. Go. Um, I'd rather use an item, honestly. I have, I have plenty of heals. They're pretty cheap. It's not worth the MP to me right now. Alright, we have taken out the Maw Ball. As you can see, it cast Toad, uh, it cast Confuse. In other games, it casts even more than that. That thing has some nasty breath. God, I hate that thing. Uh, just for the record, here's what the Chain Whip does. Uh, I did uh, equip Rosa with the... Uh... Okay, I didn't hit anybody. Good. Here's what the Chain Whip does. It doesn't do very much. I did equip Rosa with the... Elven bow that we got with uh, some charm arrows, even though we're probably not going to see that because she needs to cure everybody immediately because they're getting some good damage on us right now. Some good damage indeed. I'm trying to take out the one in the back right now because I do have uh, characters that can take those on easily. Let's go for a fire two on these guys and that should be enough to take out at least one of them if that's not enough there. Nope. So the fire two should be more than enough to take out whatever is left of his HP. Go fire two! Down he goes like I thought. And now he's going to waste his last turn casting Berserk as if that was going to help any at all. I don't believe we've gone over Berserk. Berserk is an auto attack uh, but y you do more damage. I believe you go a little bit faster as well. You need 1875 kill, 5160 experience. We might see Berserk. We might see Berserk. I might need to use that. But I do need to use Float on everybody because we're on a new floor and that's how these things work. So, with more Float, really, there's. I, how dare you! dare you show me a chest like that and then say sorry somebody already opened it now I'm going to ignore all this right now because I see a secret passage up there as well as repeat enemies 